Hold the phone, muscle boy. You happen to know what a little thing called the First Amendment says? Superheroes don't exist in real life, but that doesn't keep them from adding some live action to your TV viewing. That's a very good theory. Now let me show you a little theory. It's called Speed Dialing My Lawyer. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 live action superhero TV shows. For this list, we're looking at live action shows that feature one or more superpowered or costumed crime fighters. Now, grab your cape and cowl and let's start the countdown. I prefer not to soil my hands on female flesh, but if you insist. <laughs> Number 10, The Six Million Dollar Man. Steve Austin, astronaut, a man barely alive. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. We can make him better than he was. Better, stronger, faster. Astronaut Steve Austin suffered a horrible accident from which there was almost no hope of recovery. Almost. Hollister, you hit him too hard. There's no pulse. Using advanced bionic technology, scientists rebuilt Austin at great cost. Six million dollars to be exact. What is the story, aren't you? We're keeping it a secret. We've ordered the army to seal off the town. And his career as a superpowered government agent was set thanks to some nifty advanced super speed, strength, and vision. For four years, audiences were thrilled by Austin's slow motion fights and cool bionic sound effects that made the series one of the most fondly remembered of the 1970s. Number nine, the Green Hornet. Renner, dead. You know what this means, Cato? Dan Carly knows about the gun. They've got it. Carly will have this town in his hip pocket. The Batman craze of the 1960s spawned Green Hornet. But Hornet played it straighter, with its hero going undercover to infiltrate gangs and bring them down. <laughs> Van Williams, as playboy media magnate Britt Reid turned vigilante crime fighter Green Hornet, was quite good. Even better was Bruce Lee, the future martial arts legend, as Kato, who practically stole the show. Now, Mr. Hornet, we'll see who you really are. <laughs> and if Black Beauty was not quite the Batmobile, it was still the kind of cool, gimmicky car every kid dreamed about having. Number eight, Heroes. Camera ready? Yeah, almost. Hold on. What happens if one day a person wakes up and has superpowers? <sighs> this is Claire Bennett. That was attempt number six. That was the premise behind Heroes, an ensemble show that followed a group of people who suddenly went from ordinary to extraordinary and had to figure out how to deal with this sudden, tremendous change in their lives. <gasps> yes, ah! At its best, Heroes was a thoughtful, insightful, and exciting look into what being a superhero would really mean. Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, first of all, I'm a vampire slayer. And secondly, I'm retired. Hey, I know, why don't you kill him? Buffy Summers would have liked to have been a normal teenage girl, but fate had other plans for her. She was a slayer, the latest in a long line of beings tasked with ridding the world of supernatural menaces. Oh, that sounds like fun. Joined by a stellar supporting cast of characters known as the Scooby Gang. You're not in it. Buffy fought evil with the aid of special abilities, as well as beautifully written, darkly humorous scripts. Are you ready to finish this, bitch? A spin-off, Angel, which featured a remorseful vampire, was almost as good, but no match for Buffy herself. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Number six, Wonder Woman. The skirt can be discarded if it should prove cumbersome. The material is indestructible. Oh, it's beautiful, Mother. Thank you. I designed it myself, never knowing that it would be worn by my own daughter. 
the amazing Amazon burst onto TV screens in the 1970s in the perfect form of Linda Carter, thrilling audiences with her delightful portrayal of Wonder Woman. Fire at will! Carter played the role with a wink, but always with respect, and her charismatic performance made every episode fun to watch. Plots veered wildly all over the place, but that was true to the comic that spawned it. And as long as Carter was having fun, so were the viewers. You know, I sure wish I could find a way to send Wonder Woman on some of these assignments. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Joe. I'm sure you'll find a way. I'm sure Wonder Woman will find a way. Number 5. The Incredible Hulk Hulk smashed his way into the world of TV in the dual form of Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. And this was a duo to die for. Forced by an accident to change into a raging green monster when he gets mad, Bixby's Dr. Banner was sympathetic, kind, and good-natured. Good morning. Hi. Ferrigno's Hulk was a rampaging mass of green testosterone, uncontrolled yet childlike, and vulnerable even in his anger. The action was solid, and the storylines were surprisingly thoughtful, making this a classic. Oh my god! Number 4. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers too weird. Hold on. A pop culture phenomenon in the 1990s, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was largely drawn from footage from various Japanese TV series. Ay, 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 ay. The Power Rangers still have their hands full! The premise concerned a group of teenagers that were given the ability to morph into superheroes and use giant robots to fight invading aliens. The superheroes were color-coded, the Red Ranger, the Green Ranger, and so on. Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber-tooth tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Sounds simple, but that original premise evolved into several later incarnations that every child of the 90s remembers. Power Ranger! Uh-oh! Number 3. Smallville Smallville explored Superman's life before he became Superman. Back when he was a teenager dealing with typical teen issues and his blossoming powers in the eponymous Kansas farm town of Smallville. So what are you? Man or Superman? I haven't figured it out yet. Intelligently written and beautifully acted, Smallville created characters that compelled viewers and surprised those who thought they knew everything there was to know about superheroes. You must find the human vessel and destroy it, no matter who it may be. And the manner in which it incorporated other characters from the DC Universe was a textbook lesson on how to do superhero shows right. No one's at risk, all right? Not as long as I keep flying in for the heroic rescue. You're from the future? You're a legionnaire? Not exactly. But they're really good friends of mine. Number two, Arrow. For five years, I've had only one thought, one goal. Survive. Survive and one day return home. With its dual storyline approach, focusing both on the activities of Oliver Queen in present-day Starling City and on the five years during which he learned to become a superhero on an isolated island, Arrow is never short on action and intrigue. Just, just tell me what you want. Stephen Amell carries the show on his massive shoulders, but the entire cast is top-notch, and the writing is some of the finest ever to grace an action-based series. So tell me, are you ready to die? Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I realize how an unhappy childhood probably led you to all this, but that's really no excuse. <laughs> No, no! 
do what I say. All right, okay, I'm not moving, right? I'm not moving. Nobody move. Well done, Arthur. Well done. You fought the terror both externally and internally. I did. You're right. Of course, you heard the call and you answered it. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Same thing happened in the first issue of Superman. Andrew, if I were you, I would spend a lot less time reading comic books and start cracking your school books so you can get somewhere in life. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Number one. Batman. Batman speaking. <laughs> this is a recording. The craze that the Batman series of the 1960s inspired was short-lived, but it was truly massive. The series is a classic of campy pop culture, but it's more than that. Subsequent generations embrace it as well, because it has genuine charm. Out of my way, I said, I've got to go after Robin. Hand me the key, Batman. I'm afraid you're in no condition to drive. Alongside Burt Ward as Robin, Adam West's straightforward yet somehow sardonic portrayal will never die. You've guessed it, Robin. Our next move. Stake out the school! Right again. Let's go. Despite its period trappings and tongue-in-cheek approach, Batman makes a genuine connection with its audience. Oh, knockout gas! Do you agree with our choices? What other live-action superhero TV shows should we have put on this list? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Why waste time being all shy and worrying about some guy and if he's gonna laugh at you? Seize the moment, because tomorrow you might be dead.